We are at Paramount Studios for Cinegear. We're gonna go around and see all kinds of cool cinematic gear that's cinematic. He said it very cinematic. As long as it's cinematic. Complex Aerial Boys here. Let's go. We got a few friends that we wanna go find and we wanna show on the channel like Tanya. You guys will get to meet Tanya. Tanya. We're gonna go see some cameras. I wanna go see Ari. I'm trying to get a free camera. I'm pretty sure really that's how it works. <laughs> Who do you want to find? Some food. Okay, I think we're close to Sony. Uh, I could smell Sony. it. What does it smell like? Like fresh cameras out of a box. Lucas from Condor Blue. I don't know, have you ever been in an episode? I don't think so. I'm not that special. My Condor first Blue. episode. Yeah. Stay tuned for the next one. <laughs> what you got going on, man? Oh, uh, just walking around, yeah. dude. We found it. <gasps> Ooh, looking for... Tanya. She's probably with some like big shot VP right now. She's on her way. She doesn't know she wants to be on camera yet. Nope, so, nope, oh my nope. god. <laughs> you have to make an appearance in the video. Here's your microphone. No. Yeah, you can just do the back of your head. I don't do it like this. Hello. Oh my god, that'd be funny. Do you want Hello? us to change yeah. your voice too? <laughs> <laughs> just can you put a blur over my face? We can. Or do it like Wilson where it's like only this part of me showing. <laughs> so like a little wall comes up every time. So Tanya's been there when we flew the jet cam and she's in the cockpit. Weren't you supposed to like not be in that? CFO at Aerial and the CEO were like, you're not allowed to ride in the helicopter. And so I didn't ride in a helicopter. I rode in that 1945 plane, remember? Yeah, yes. <laughs> you're probably in the background of some of these shots, like yeah. in the Ari Robbins. First time we met, I bought you guys that box of cheese rolls. Uh -huh. And then Sam ate the whole box and puked. This Sam? <laughs> like a child, but they're, that's my weakness. You know this. Somebody walked into the restroom and I was like trying to be like quiet. I heard that you told Larry about that story. <laughs> Larry Shear, Oscar nominated DP. That was yeah. how he Shooting met. Joe now and that's how he knows you. <laughs> Did you see this? This is for like Gran Turismo. We put the FR7 on a motorized slider. You can control it on the iPad or here. We use this on the Super Bowl halftime show, right? We have permission to stalk Tanya for a little bit. That's Marcus Berger. Hey, Marcus. Hey, how's it going? Oh, love you, oh hey. Oh, oh here. No, this no, is no, that, no, that's no, your microphone. No, no, no. We're trying to get Tanya in the video more. Can you? Can I just you? wanted to show him all the cool people that are here. How's Cinegear going? Good, overwhelming, but fun. I'm looking for glass, lenses, uh, lenses? zoom lenses, yeah. anamorphic lenses, oh, yeah. tiny lenses. Why are you looking for tiny lenses? Drone stuff? Because I'm not working out, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Drones, whatever, Ronin 4Ds. I shot Red Notice where we used yeah. FPV drones for the first time oh, in a feature. Red Notice, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You so had, uh, I think, Johnny, Johnny FPV, FPV on that, right? brilliant. Many times it seems a bit gimmicky, right? But you have to find a way to integrate it so it feels more like a handheld shot. So what are you working on these days? I just finished a show for Apple called Constellation. Oh, okay. well, hey, nice friend in India yeah. here. It's been a pretty chaotic day, seeing familiar faces and meeting new people. I want to introduce you to Team Tony. And he shot a few projects that you may have heard of, like Jurassic Park, Back to the Future, Halloween, Apollo 13, The Thing, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and like a hundred other things. Hi, how are you, Susan? Wait, what's, it, that, what's your name? That's uh, Susan Lewis. Susan Lewis. Oh, oh Susan. Hey, use that. Oh, so this is a small world, right? We're, we're family, We're family, yeah. Right. yeah. My we're, fiance, we're, stepdad, we're, stepdad's wife. Yeah, it's so out of context, Carrie. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. The hell is running toward me? <laughs> Where are the brands we must see? There's new Steadicam, my ah, client, okay. right up here. Uh -huh. there, have you seen this thing right here, this tall thing here? That's called the Air Climber. That's Matthews right here. Tanya walks fast, so we got to keep up. <laughs> Where are we going now? We're going outside the Sherry Lansing Theater because we need to go and meet Tommy Maddox Upshaw. He did Snowfall, The Man Who Fell to Earth. He just did White Man Can't Jump. Have you had a chance to walk around Cinegear and check some gear out? And Yeah, I mean, there's different lights and there's different like lenses that I'm checking out for my next possible projects. There's like this thing with this variable diffusion that there's like a diffusion frame that changes yeah density by a turn of a dial. Is it like a four by four? Or it's a four like... by four and a two by three variable diffusion that oh, okay. is actually quite nice. So then you can look at the light, see what it's doing, and then crank it in to be thicker, so it'll be softer, harder. What kind of grades different. can you go through? Like is, It's like from flat. opal to like 216. Oh, like wow. it's super thin huh. all the way to like really thick. But you just watch the density of it change. Does it change the of, weight of the flag and everything? Not at all. Really? Super light. It's light? Yeah, super Man. lightweight. And then there's also this thing on this uh, big 18K that's on a remote head, a new remote head called the Vulcan. Oh, for is, the lighting remote heads? Yeah, oh, lighting remote okay. heads. Oh, okay. So that, that much weight on a remote head is kind of unheard of for a while. Do you shoot White Man Can't Jump on Venice 2? So we shot a little bit on Venice 2 and then we shot on Venice 1. So I shoot both cameras ah, okay. quite seamlessly back and forth and it's a fun movie. Everything Venice, so it's color space, dark skin with light skin. They're kind of seamless. You don't have to do anything different because 
the dynamic range is so great. Yeah, you have all the ranges, so you don't have to like necessarily adjust lighting or anything. No, 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 because that. there's yeah. enough latitude and enough color space yeah. to handle in highlights and low lights of it all. Have you ever intercut FX3 stuff into your projects? Not yet, or? but I think we're gonna go after it and try to use it on you know, my next project, see what happens in terms of, can I use it as a third or fourth insert camera or crash camera, something like that. White men can't jump, there's some FPV in there, right? Yeah, yeah, Lightcraft was yeah. our guy, was our vendor yeah. of choice. They're dope. We actually flew the, the Venice 2. With the, you know, we flew oh, you Venice. guys flew a Venice 2, dang, that's yeah. a heavy camera for a, a Yeah, the big FPV. ass quad, yeah. yeah. You guys got all your drones up here? Yeah, we've got the master wheels up on the i3 with people to play with. You got the Free Fly Ember? Yeah, we're excited for that. We've been playing with the Ember. It's like so easy to use, yeah. and the picture quality looks so much better than it the under the wave. What is the coolest thing here at Cinegear, aside from your anamorphic lenses? Being at the Paramount Pictures lot is the best thing, because this is where movies have happened since 1920. Gear-wise, I mean, gear is just the backdrop to what we do, but this is just about fun networking with your friends. Sam, you keep getting me on camera. Well, it's, you're blurred the whole time. Like the robotic voice. Yeah. voice was a, uh, she was, was being protected to secure her identity. Yeah. He shot Cabinet of Curiosities on Netflix and Fubar, which just came out with Arnold Schwarzenegger. What was it like shooting that? Now working with Arnold. Monica and the rest of the cast is absolutely fantastic. The camera was awesome. The camera was awesome. Venice oh, too. Venice too oh, for the whole right. thing? It seems like most people like the Venice for its sensitivity Which options. I, I spend all of my time with it set to 3200. This is fantastic though. Fujinon 25 to 1000. Just a whole new category of lens. Starts at 2.8, it'll hold f2.8 to 465 mil, and at 1000 mil it's f5. Oh geez, so it's like a one and done lens kind of. Yeah, it's not lightweight, but it's it's, heavy, it's one yeah. and done. Is there like a doubler in there or anything? Or? So there is, there is a 1.5 times expander, so you can actually get out to 1500. Good to see you. Uh, Want to make a cameo in a video? <laughs> what are you checking out here at City Gear? I just saw that Luminar, the diffusion frame. Oh they, yeah, that's what everyone's talking about. It's that. really cool. Yeah. You, you shot some true crime thing, right? I, I've I've done a lot of true crimes. I'm into true crime right now, so what's well, there's give one, me some recommendations. There's one coming out. It's about Gypsy Rose. It's gonna be like a six-part documentary that is gonna come out anytime now. Oh, okay. Where yeah. can we see it? It's on Oxygen. Oxygen. Yeah. Okay. These guys are my buddies. Complex Aerials. And you heard the girlfriend, right? <laughs> Fiance now, yeah. yeah. Fiance, wow, yeah, look at you. Yeah, I know, I'm all grown up now, a big boy. Stuff that I've been yeah. seeing like people doing with FPV is like, you can do pretty much everything. You yeah. can. It's you can crazy. Do, so do you know about Shot Deck? Yeah, when they started, I, uh -huh. that, I was like one of the first ones. Yeah, well, do you know Larry? The owner? Hey, nice to meet you. Big fan of Shot Deck. Josh. 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 Nice to meet Sammy. you. Sammy. Sammy, Big nice to meet you. Big fan and a member of Shot Deck. Oh, well. good. Yes. Yeah. From from day one. You just wrapped up, just uh, can wrapped, we talk about it? I did, it I just okay. wrapped up a new Joker film. Yeah, excited so for we that. just finished that. I'm very excited for people to see it. Oh man, yeah. Still under wraps, but it's got Lady Gaga. For those who don't know about Shot Deck, like how do you describe it? It's like a huge catalog. Of over 600,000 images. By the end of the year, it'll be a million images. That basically catalog the most important shots, the most referential shots, from movies, television, very soon music videos. And it's there for reference, for research, for inspiration, for education. It's just basically a starting place to one, help you more effectively express your vision, but also just discover new movies, discover new imagery, get inspired and just like to help the whole creative process be more efficient and more effective. Now I use Shot Deck because the communication I have with the director or with the producer, we can get inspired by seeing this frame and now we can create ours, you know, looking at this. And it's much faster I'm because- I'm just gonna pay you. You're saying every- <laughs> Give this guy a hat, a free membership, all the things. But that's exactly it. I mean, by yeah. the way, people think, oh, it's just for pitch decks. It's like, I don't even use it for pitch decks. I use it for those conversations with the director because sometimes what I do is I go, I create a deck I send it to them and I say, just tell me which shots are interesting to you. Because sometimes even a director who has visual language, yeah. and like knowledge, yeah. still the best way to communicate it yeah. is like, you go, I just like that shot. Why do I yeah. like that shot? What is it? And then you go, well, that gives us so much information to go off of like Absolutely. which direction. Oh, they, they like shots with a lot of headroom. Yeah. Great. If I do that, they're not going to be like, what's yeah. with the headroom? One of the best ways to kind of select some looks out of lenses and whatnot. This is anamorphic <laughs> yeah. and how to explain anamorphic yeah. to like one of your collaborators or, yeah. or I use it for production designers to say, oh, I love that lamp or I like those blinds or I like those shears or it might be a prop master and we just look at a bunch of examples of lighters 
or a, a costume designer, or, or I've used it for makeup artists. It's almost like a Pinterest for cinematography. Yeah, huh? exactly. <laughs> I use it in post. I take it to the lab at the end when we do the DI, and I'm like, this is the cyan I'm looking for. Yeah. This yeah. is the sodium vapor look, whatever that might be. So yeah, from the sure. Pitch to post all the way through. This is Rod Bogart, color science genius. I look like I'm on camera for something. You are. <laughs> yeah. just, I'm just introducing him to celebrities. Oh, okay. The reason I'm a celebrity is I'm a color scientist and my initials are RGB. Oh, and so, oh that's actually so, amazing. So that is the most amazing part of that. <laughs> Beyond that, I'm just kind of a regular guy. Carrie, you guys know what this is? You know the Truman Show? Yeah. Where he was like in the ocean and like runs into the wall? Like this oh, is the set this? for that. This, they fill this up with water. Oh, that's so oh, cool. Oh, how you doing? The mythical beard is here. Okay, so one thing I really like is the Kino Flow Mimic. It's like a light panel, like a big panel, uh -huh. but it's super high density. Now you've got a video display that's almost full video, but I can now do image-based lighting. So I can put those all around the set, and then Unreal Engine can drive the whole thing. But now I'm lighting the set with higher quality light. Okay, so super we have cool. to check out Kino Flow. Yeah, I mean, they like were out of the game. Yeah. And I then just... This year, huh. everyone's like, "Whoa, that's pretty cool." Yeah, because they were a little behind. They're a little bit a little slow behind. on the game on like yeah. the LED stuff. You know what's the other good stuff? The Nisi Athena lenses. So they're like a baby signature prime. Matched weight, matched size, 300 degree rotation, back mount filters, full frame. But you guys are B unit, and you're up flying a signature on an FPV. I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> you flew in a signature prime? Yeah, I, I flew a 35. Oh, God. You flew the Lexus 35? Uh, I, I can't tell you what movie, but... But with a signature prime on uh, it? Yeah, I have a picture. Dude, if you crashed that, that would have been like 150 grand. The camera department was so freaked out. Yes! Yeah, no they're, I'm freaked out right they're now. Like, they're like, Sammy, we're going to give you this 35 and um, just... Be careful. Dude, sure, I get super this. stressed out if I'm flying something that's 10 grand. How's it going? Yeah, I mean, hey, Gene. You guys, you guys, <laughs> <laughs> no, we got Mr. Cannon over here. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up? How's it going, man? Yeah, hey, this is the new like pocket yeah. camera, right? You know, hey, what's up, guys? I wonder how robust so, it is. Like, is that an action cam? Oh, too? let's try it. <laughs> it does feel good in the hand. What size sensor is this? Like, uh, one, one inch? inch? If I record something, can you send this to me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Go cool. So this is the quality out of the PowerShot V10. How's it look? Does it look amazing? Yeah. How are we feeling? Oh, you got yeah. a kickstand built in, yeah. or is this a cage thing? No, ah. it's a kickstand built ah. into it. And then right now, Small Rig makes a cage for it, but Tilta's gonna make one. Turns out they're already closing up. Definitely more things that I wanted to check out. Uh, but <laughs> I guess we could check out like the booths as they're closing up. You can see them breaking down the Kino Flow Mimic. I'm the worst event coverage guy ever. Dan, what's up? All right, this is Alessandro. What'd you call me? You said I was a definition of what? Oh, man child. You're yeah. getting the last demo of the day. Yeah. I feel like the guy that like walks in like five minutes before the restaurant closes and all the servers are like, F If you've been a gimbal operator with like the Movi Pros or the Ronin 2s, you probably already know of Ready Rig. And this is the crazy man behind it all. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Man, child. Man, child. Yeah, yeah, I gotta correct you. Carrie's Car always right, okay? That is true. That, that is facts. Hunt facts. Thanks. Ready Rig's been around forever. For Where, when did you guys time. start? Well, so my dad is, is like an amazing cinematographer. Some of the shows he's done Baywatch, Miami Vice. He actually got shot in the leg on Miami Vice and finished the whole seven days directing a TV show with a bolt in his leg. Yeah, from one of the, it, one that's of the blanks crazy. The gun. It's a crazy story. We'll have to tell that story one day. This is the crossbar that you've been working on. Yeah, yeah. What we got here is got a Komodo. I'm just going to go in, snap in. Whoa, hey, that's a new connection. Oh, I'm actually liking how you set up a handle on the back. Bigger lever arm, right? So yeah. if the closer it is, the more rotation. Any little input you do is going to input. The further you go, that radius is larger. I could also do better tilting. And I also could do roll because I'm directly in the center. What we're doing with our system is this now is like completely as if gravity doesn't exist. Can you bring it down and leave it down there? Yeah, look. Oh, bring it up here, and bring look. it up and then, huh. And it's stabilized, right? So if I jump, it's gonna absorb a lot. Footsteps are gonna disappear. So it's yeah. gonna give you an aesthetic of like stabilized handheld. So you're gonna yeah. feel the motion of the camera a little bit. Very cinematic, very engaging. Monitor separated, right? Yeah. So I could literally float this camera, shoot up, rotate around, everything is all free here, right? Yeah. And then with the monitor being separate, if I want to do like an orbiting move, I'm literally just doing a circle around the person. Instead of doing that, you know, wonky cross yeah. or if I'm like... For the people that already have a ready rig, can they yeah. attach this? It's just, it's oh, it's just like an attachment for it. So yeah, totally. if you have a ready rig, you could expand on that now. And expand. Everything this. we do is modular. So you start off with the first vest, entry level vest. You can go all the way up to the top level and everything just bolts on so you can keep growing. With Your career grows, your kit grows with you. Yeah. Everything's modular. And then eventually you turn into a full on Terminator. Robot, right? yeah. yeah. And when you adjust the weight of this, you just slide this back yeah. and forth. So you could, that's the biggest thing I really like about the ready rigs is like you can adjust the, the tension of it. 
like while you're wearing it. Next time you guys take this out for a spin, let me come. I'm yeah. gonna come hang out on set. All right, what was your favorite thing? Dude, probably that. My arms are killing me. I've been holding <laughs> the camera for all, all day. <laughs> How about you, John? I love that as well. I think that that's epic. This oh, is my fiance, Nancy. Oh, hey, nice to meet you, Nancy. This is my fiance, Carrie. Do you want to be in a video? Do you want to make a little appearance? So we used to work together a bunch. Yes. What are you excited about here? Kina Flow volume wall and LED wall technology that's going in with lighting. Yeah. Um, I think that's the future of everything. Freestyle airs are going to compete with the light mass spectrums. They've been out of it for a little bit, but I think they're back in it now. You're a fan and of the Venice? The Venice is great. I, I love the Venice 1. The Venice 2 now is an improvement on that. The fact yeah. that you could do all the Rialto attachments and stuff like that. Yeah, the Rialto is awesome where you just rip off the head and you have this like little handheld thing. He was just saying that he loves the Venice 2. Yes. No, I think it's the best camera on the market right now. Oh. <laughs> I agree. So this is the show, what it looks like when everybody's breaking down all the equipment. Here's the man himself. Hello. So glad you made it. <laughs> we created a replica of the dormitory scene in the Wednesday show. We released today the CCM1 control monitor. It gives you full control on the monitor for the LX35 and the Mini LF. Does it use that new port? Correct. Yes. I love the one cable. One would work if you only wanted to run at 100 nits. Can't provide oh. enough power beyond 100 nits. Oh, okay. If you wanted the 1300 nits maximum brightness, you need a power cable. Okay. But you could use just one cable, so if we unplug that it should reset. So now it's down to 100. Oh, okay. And that's still, I mean, like in here, it's, it's bright fine. enough, it feels like. Exactly. So you can see here you have your recording options. It's one for one of the GUI that would have been on the MBF2 viewfinder. Yeah. You know what I used to have to do is take the uh, small HD Cine 7 and a, yeah. uh, I think it was like an Ethernet cable yeah. in the back you and, could still and do, do that. that. The full GUI control, right? With the Cine 7, you can only access what's on the home screen. Right. We have a joystick on the back for menu navigation. So if you don't want to use a touch screen because you're wearing gloves, Sunhood is more like an iPad Pro cover. Folds so flat that you can actually leave it on there so it's protected for transport. So you can just oh, snap it in nice. like so. I saw on the back, it says small HD. So is this a small HD partnership? It, exactly. Oh, so okay. it's an OEM product for us. And then it's got an Airy pin lock here, which is our new quarter 20 and two pins. It's a new Airy standard spacing, oh, okay. so it's that. Oh, okay, so it's in pretty tight. Yep, is pretty this pretty tight, similar to what small, uh, small HD might similar, have? Similar, but it won't fit because theirs okay. is farther apart. Okay. Um, so yeah, we, we, it, we're calling it Airy Pin Lock, so all future Airy products will have that option okay. as well. So you, you could guys still are setting the new standard there, yeah, yeah. which is nice because like everyone has slightly different sizes on yeah. it, and it's just and like, spacing, until ah. you guys do something, like the <laughs> PL mount or yeah. the 3 8 lock, it's just like, once you guys do it, then that just like becomes the standard. Rosettes too, right? Uh, when you find a rosette, yeah. that it's like, oh, it's oh, yeah. not an Airy rosette. Uh, what do I do now? Because the Airy rosette is not quarter 20. It's, it's like the M M it's the metric version of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that screws me up though. That like confuses me because some are quarter and 20 me, and, and then like, it's like, because uh, it fits and you can rotate it, but then it's like, you feel it starting to like grind on the, strip yeah, yeah, yeah. the thing and it's like, is this right? And yeah. Can't be right, yeah. What's the damage, uh, tell me. Uh, this is where I get right. really sad right, here. I love it, but I'm ready for it's my heartbroken. Uh, okay. uh, just over, at right, right around 5,600, yes. Oh, Premium product, is, yeah. The funny thing is that like, it's so expensive, but since you guys make it, it's like worth it. We really tried to think of everything yeah. to have that control and all of that. But that is it for our Cinegear tour. It, it closed off and I wanted to see a few more things, but I always try to like film an outro. But I, I got always, it. I, I got you it. You got it. Dun, 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 dun.